This is the letter from your grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts, brothers, and sisters, the refugees from the communist Vietnam, and the families from HO program to the Vietnamese youth on the occasion of the presidential election in the United States on November the third of two thousand twenty. This election is very, very important, not only for the future of the United States, but also for the whole world, including Vietnam. It is a life and death matter for the democratic institution when America is facing the risk of becoming a socialist country and the world to be dominated by communist China. At first, let's talk about us, Vietnamese American. The 2018 census recorded 2,200,000 Vietnamese in the U.S. This number may be higher when the 2020 census is completed. So, what was the reason we were here in the United States? It is because the Northern Vietnam Communists violated the agreement on ending war and restoring peace to Vietnam in 1973. They took over South Vietnam on April the 30th of 1975, imposing a totalitarian regime, applying atheistic communism, socialism, brutal revenge against people from the south of Vietnam. So. Many people had to leave the country for freedom by boat or by land. Hundred thousands of them lost their life in the ocean. Those who were lucky to be rescued came here to start their new lives, and that was the reason why you, the young people, are here in America. The first generation of refugees had to work very hard and sacrifice a lot. To nurture and to support you, so you had good education and succeeded in life. Nowadays, many of you live a prosperous life and hold high positions in the society. What about the U.S., the land of promise and opportunities? The United States is the country where everyone has full basic freedom and the opportunity to rise without discrimination against race, religion, gender, or age. Thanks to that, the young Vietnamese people, as well as other ethnic minorities, have been successful, holding important roles in the society. And the United States has a black president, President Obama, and many minority officials, representatives, and senators in government. The United States was the leading power in the free world, defeating Nazi Germany and the Japanese militarism, downing communism, fighting Islamic extremism, destroying the Islamic State ISIS, ensuring security and prosperity for the world, so that the whole world is safe to develop with peace in mind. Also, the United States has a political system built. By visionary and innovative founders for nearly two hundred and fifty years, the two main parties, Democrat and Republican, have built up a strong political foundation by which the United States becomes the most powerful and democratic country in the world. Moreover. The United States possesses a culture of human morality, respecting people's rights, tolerating many ethnic groups to form a pluralistic, multiracial society known as the United States of America, forming the richest country in the world. Let's talk about political situation in the 2020 election. During the Cold War. The United States was infiltrated by communist intelligence officers, and now installed by the Chinese Communist Party. They operate in the dark, camouflage in various forms, crept into schools, organizations, political parties to propagate young people, ethnic minorities, and workers with leftist-minded socialists, incite hatred. 
advocate violence, defy morality despite the law, causing social rift in America. Socialism has used some intriguing tactics, offering attractive goals such as creating social justice, levering the rich and the poor, everyone is equal, there is no people exploiting people, society has no class, work by the ability, enjoy according to needs, and so on. In fact, socialism has caused the most mankind disaster so that it completely failed and disintegrated like the Soviet Union, Eastern Europe. The remaining socialist countries are very poor as North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, and Vietnam. The building of a just society cannot use social leveling or extremist action like the socialist did, but we will perform with humanistic policies respecting for dignity and freedom, promoting morality, preserving the essence and traditions of the United States from a long time ago. At this time, American politics has been invaded by radical leftist groups who are secretive or overt actors turning the United States into a country with left-leaning socialist tendencies using all means to take power. Some political organizations have been infected with leftist ideology and separated from the former way of reconciliation, becoming more and more radical with a policy very close to socialism, such as the government holds a lot of power, deeply intervene in social life. Heavy taxation of business companies and legal rich people for leveling the society. Opening borders irresponsibly, welcoming illegal immigrants, increasing crimes, creating burden on the government and economic collapse. Legalizing abortion, marijuana, taking crimes lightly, making society and moral unstable and degrade. Religions are not respected. Communicate with dictatorship and communist regimes such as China, Cuba, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, reducing the cost of defense, putting the security situation of the United States and the world at risk by ISIS terrorism, communism, and much more. During the pre-election period, the undercover extremist actors have risen, taking advantage of a few fatal accidents caused by the overacting police that occurred any time, using the guise of racism, inciting violence, looting, creating chaos, defying the law, blaming everything on the government, destroying people's property that are not different from the communist revolution and rebellion movements in the past. In the meantime, a great catastrophe currently threatening the United States and the world is that China to expand its power, causing pandemic, increasing its military forces, and realizing the dream of global hegemony if we do not stop it. Many left-wing politicians have ignored this risk. Therefore, in this year's election, we have to be wise not to choose the aforementioned leftists or incompetent candidates with no determination and ability to prevent social violence and to stop the China expansionism. If not, it is certain that the United States will suffer harmful long-term consequences. Dear young Vietnamese people, we left the country because we did not want to live under the dictatorship of communism and socialism. There is no way we would accept socialism in the United States more or less. We are determined not to let those negative consequences happen when we have had a lot of experiences with them. Thank you, the Vietnamese refugee parent group Email info at B A U C U two thousand twenty dot org.